Hello everyone, welcome to Ashland Park. So today is the day of the harvest. Well, uh, number one or first build to be harvested. We're all attached. We'll head over to the field. We've got a full tank of fuel. And if we do struggle with this tractor, we can use that one, New Holland. So here's the field. I don't know. We will need to use this to get the header out. What I'll do is leave that about there. Although. Start the combine up. Let's warm up. Got to try and get out of here now. Getting it, gonna get it round this corner. I might put it over in the other yard so that other field grows, and then after that, we can go back, come back over here, and it can. Start having the rest, and it's gonna have its repaint. It's an old combine, so let's build it like that. Whether we get this build done today, I don't know. No, it doesn't look massively big. And it is a barley field, so there is a good chance it'll fill up quite quickly. Strip gate. There we go. Spinning around and we'll fire her up, see what she sounds like. Not the biggest combine in the world, like I said in the previous episode. For this farm, we don't really need a massive combine the job it's big enough to go around the yard and does what it does because most of the year it's just going to be sitting in the barn probably doing nothing so all through winter there's not going to be a lot for it to do but it's chewing it up very nicely Maybe one of the years we might hire a combine 
for a couple of days so we can harvest it so now we won't always keep buying the straw in we can just stick a bale in the cow pen and we can actually get it done we're halfway full but the combine is doing it so well Going pretty quick. We are doing six miles an hour. Not too bad. And this is a build I made personally, so the crop shouldn't be too bad. little bit of the narrow bit we don't harvest the crops the, the crops will die I don't think that field isn't quite ready but that field was planted quite late if it's not ready tomorrow ideally I would like to try and get that one that other field drilled this side of winter We're only in June, so we've got plenty of time. I'm hoping we'll make it all the way around and then we'll jump that side of the field. But as this combine's doing so well, there is no fill gauge. There is on the bottom. Not on the combine itself. Not very straight swath there. So we have made it. It is a 100% full or we'll walk down the trees are doing so well I might split this field into two episodes it depends how it goes if it goes well we might finish it but if not we could always do it in the next one but then We'll probably seed that one and then try and bale this build because we're not keeping every bale. Some of them will be sold. Well, I presume to the uh, animal dealer. If we just sell them to the animal dealer, that will be completely fine. This tractor is not really struggling too much. Turning round up here could be an issue. It should be fine. Out. Fire up the combine. Should be good. Load it from there. Switch the engine off. So this combine could do with a bit of a repaint. It's you can tell it's old, but it's okay. It does what we need it to. 
all being serviced, so it's obviously. Have a look at that. What's this? So what? Right then, we'll get this build done. Obviously, it might be just the case of taking the headphones off today. And then next episode, we complete the field. Like that. And it might be the case, I need to do a quick time lapse. Then we'll aim to take three headlines off today. And maybe and then we'll start going up and down tomorrow. Quick time lapse. Thinking about it, we might just get away with some headlands. If we can, we'll leave the cop mine in the field for one night. It doesn't really matter too much. But I think this cop mine was a decent purchase. Which I was in this field, like a tree, and this is the biggest one we own. Arable wise, because we only own one grass bit. All we need for a farm like this might be better than two, but that one is doing the job. So we'll go around once more, and we are leaving full again. We might as well get the combat um, trailer. Just to uh, top it, top the trailer up. Got eighty percent full. I might wind grow this field before the pilot, so it makes it easier. bit tight round that corner but it does the job so mark your name cape ideally I would like to get back to me tractor the black tractor is quite good but I think for the bailing we'll use the New Holland and the big mass you can pick them up could have a massy day that day quickly jump into the struggle in a bit I did miss Anything we miss will obviously get seeded back in for next year. Well, so I would like to plow Watford over there. Try and get back down to the 
gate if we can. This is the only problem when we're doing harvesting and seeding at the well, harvesting and combine, harvesting and towing the trailer at the same time. We can afford a worker, but the worker probably mess it up. Probably going to work loading there. God, that combine has been a while. So it's got quite a decent tank. Be nice if we can upgrade the header, but I think the only couple of upgrading the header that's going to make the tank a bit smaller than what we want it to be. But this combine is the right size, it's just old. And I do like them, they come by an old to be fair, but you can tell it's losing its paint, which is not good. Well, it's not going to go off the farm, it's not going to do many miles, the hours are going to go up on it. But in the winter time, it's just going to, like I say, sit in the shed, probably need some maintenance. We can't give it maintenance in the winter. One day in the winter months, if we have bad, if we don't have bad snow, obviously we can get it out, fire it up. I wouldn't like to start in the cold. And wet. We are going to have to withdraw this field. I think. Let me will. Might make it easier to uh, pick up. You can go it. So we'll go around the field again. Got around that corner very well. I think the combine is going to fall before we get down there. But it won't hurt to leave it out. For a couple of hours. I'm not going to go into the next day because this one might die. Well, no, it won't die, but I am making plan in time for 10 bucks. I'd rather get the combine done in the day, in the night, you don't, I don't think the headlights are very good on this one, so, always best service in the day, I'm not too bothered about carting light, which is only going into storage. Fire up the mass production. It does level quite a bit, the structure. Probably just getting into the gears. So 
We have got this tractor for a year. I don't know why I'm in the coaching. But I think if we get a smaller one of these, it powers the be mixer. I might even get rid of the little John Deere we have. So one of these. Which is probably let me know in the comments if you that's a good idea. <coughs> oh, we can Ideally, I would want to put the gate, but if we have to leave it here and then carry on down in the next episode, that's what we can do. Or oh, I can get down to the gate and leave a bit in the combine, which probably won't hurt. Okay, we'll get a little bit more in there, so we'll go that one. And then we'll park it on the grass field over there. It's not going to be an awful lot. Let me know how many acres this field will be. I have seen some videos where they've actually planned this field and that grass field we own together and then put it in arable which is got to be a big fill of that what i wonder what the acreage of these two fills together let me know in the comments oh, i think the only um, the map can know that this is based in somewhere in the UK. I don't know where. Never been to Ashington. Ashington Park. If this map is like real life, it's gotta be somewhat pretty. So we've got 40,000 litres, no, 1,000 litres in there. But well, then this is corner up because. Yeah. We've made a pretty decent start on the build. What we can do is pull over here, lower the header, put the auger out. And we'll spin round, try not to take the trees out with us. So this tractor does well. Obviously we don't know. It struggles with the gears a little bit. It's nice to have it here in it struggle a little bit. But it does it okay. Well, it's going to be more for the tipping. It is quite brake. The brakes aren't good in it either. You can empty the trailer in there. The beacon on. We haven't got to go on road. Just make the tractor look pretty. Put the auger in. We've used a couple of litres of fuel. And we can fold it up. We know we're going to be using it tomorrow. And we can shook it up. And say goodnight to the. Well, see you in the next episode. And we'll go. And take this to storage.
Oh, for sure, the gate didn't make. You won't need to chuck it now. For a bit. Character doing okay. This character does pull it okay, but it is slow. It is on the slow side a bit. You can only do 26. I don't know what that will be in kilometres. There's the tip. Barley can't be stored here. But then, that has to change the plank quite suddenly. Gotta find somewhere else to store it. Uh, okay. I'm still going to cover for now. To the next episode. So I can think of somewhere. Maybe in here. We'll have to store it in here. That means we'll have to move them out. Put them in this side and the mower. Well, the mower can stay there. God, I bet our lawn is cooking soon. Right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.